Hey everyone, welcome to this module, Providing Enterprise Solutions with LifeRay DXP. This is going to be for the Solutions Architect persona, and we are in LifeRay DXP 7.3. As we're beginning, we can look at some key module takeaways. LifeRay DXP is capable of crafting solutions for a large number of varied use cases. LifeRay DXP contains several out-of-the-box application suites that work together to solve both common and unique business problems. The various elements of LifeRay Tech Stack can be used in conjunction with LifeRay DXP to tackle more advanced and varied use cases. A lot to cover. If you're following along with the exercises, make sure that you have the Java JDK installed to run LifeRay DXP. You can download that here from this Oracle link. And your unzipped module exercise files will be in the following folder structure. If you're on Windows, do it in your C slash LifeRay folder. If you're on Unix systems, you'll be in the user home slash LifeRay folder. As usual, our use case is the Livingston Hotels and Resorts. They are a premier hospitality company with 120 hotels and resorts in 72 different countries. They are certainly worldwide. They have six global offices to support those offerings, as well as a popular travel journal called Livingston Life. So for our example, Livingston definitely serves as the large enterprise corporation that Life DXP is perfect for. And currently in our story, Livingston needs to solve the following logistical issues. They want to cut development time for new content, reduce time to market overall, lower the administrative costs for site upkeep and user engagement, we want to see how we can be more efficient, we want to gather metrics and user feedback, and organize and display thousands of different assets that are already existing. We're going to track our successes through these KPIs. We want to increase the ability to gather metrics for making data-driven decisions. We want to improve the organization of existing assets and reduce time to market for new content. So after everything I've just thrown at you, it's important that we start with what is Life for DXP? So Life for DXP is built with business in mind. And today there's a lot of different ground that we potentially have to cover with our business needs. Integration platforms, enterprise solutions factories, public facing websites, intranets, partner portals, and customer portals. Not only are we going to be meeting internal needs with our different use of Life for DXP, but we need to also be looking at the customer facing elements as well. So Life for DXP is trying to hit all those business solutions. You're able to build appealing and engaging websites, manage users and track customer journeys, create, manage, and display web content and documents, use collaborative tools to boost productivity, unify various enterprise systems under a single platform, develop custom apps and widgets to address your unique business needs, and finally, customize the platform to fit your brand identity. So not only are you going to be able to have all these different components working, it'll still look like it's yours. So when it comes to all those different capabilities, here are some of the components to keep in mind that Lifer unifies under a single platform. The horizontal portal, collaboration and social elements, enterprise file sync and sharing, forms, workflow, and business process automation, content management system, digital asset management, mobile experience platform, as well as developer tools. I know that's a lot of lists. This is just providing really the top view for all of the different capabilities and components that Lifer DXP offers in these following videos, we're going to be taking a look at the individual capabilities and components uh, and diving deeper into them. So stay with us.